Hi, this is Jay with jrwld.net. Today is 12-28-2019. We're ending up the year. Uh, it's a Saturday, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the Lytro Alum, which I have in my hand right now. And if I can find my SD card, we'll go ahead and put that in. And this is a camera that you can no longer purchase new. Um, the company went out of business after making this. They made a uh, the first generation Lytro was a lipstick style small uh, light field camera and the Lytro Loom was their second one and they were heavily producing into the um, video field and they had a lot going on with that and then all of a sudden there was no more, nothing else. Um, I purchased this one used on eBay, uh, roughly around the 270 mark, and I can't remember exactly what I paid for it. And this is a, a light field camera. So basically what it does is it takes all the light in the field of view, And captures it. It has full zoom and it, it has pretty darn good zoom. Um, zebra stripes. It's got the alum button which is kind of interesting. When you hit the alum button it will give you um, these blue and orange lines around things to tell you what the focus is on them. Um, it's a in my opinion, a portrait camera. Um, there's no image stabilization on it, and buttons are pretty easy to hit. But I want to give you an idea of what this camera looks like. Batteries are very difficult to get a hold of. Um, none of them have a warranty on them, of course. And... Um, if you can find a brand new one online, it's very, very expensive. I bought this as a lark uh, when I got to the point where I could financially afford buying cameras. Um, this was probably the third one that I bought. Because when I saw this camera on YouTube, uh, the previews for it, I thought this thing is really, really cool to be able to do this. Um, what it does basically is it captures all the light in field. So if you have your um, focus set basically uh, in the center of the orange and the blue, you can, after the fact, refocus the photograph. So I'm going to take a picture of, whoops, I'm going to take a picture of something that has some depth of field. And uh, we'll focus kind of almost in the middle. Okay, so we'll bring that picture up, I think. And hopefully the camera's catching this. This is a uh, picture of a lot of stuff um, with the Mac Pro in the background. So now I can tap anywhere on this touch screen in the back and refocus after the fact. So if I, if I keep this wheel in the center of the blue and the orange, uh, then what that's telling me is that I have a depth of field that I can work with after the fact. There's software for Mac, Windows, and Linux, I believe. Um, I have Mac and Windows, uh, which is still available online because um, there are some hobbyists, light field hobbyists, that um, have maintained that software. Although um, there is no future maintenance on that stuff, you can still download the original Lytro desktop apps. And basically to do the same thing, 
uh, that the software on the camera does after the fact. Uh, the desktop software actually has the ability to change f-stop, um, edit with a semi-Photoshop-ish interface uh, for color, color tones, mid-tones, white balance, that sort of thing. Um, this, honestly, was probably the first camera that I wanted to buy, and it ended up being, I think, my third or fourth camera. Um, but it's pretty cool. If you do portrait work, I, I could definitely see how this could uh, really be a neat camera to have in your arsenal of cameras. Uh, the quality is pretty good. You're not going to go out and... Uh, shoot action shots with it because really uh, with no stabilization uh, on the software uh, you, you know it's it's iffy whether or not you're going to get stuff when you're on the move but um, it does have rapid fire if you hold the trigger down it'll it'll fire them off real fast to the card and um, I, I've probably uh, shot 200 shots on this uh, in whole different scenarios and honestly if you keep it within that center uh, of, of uh, focus even a bad shot can be a good shot on this camera uh, after owning it for a month uh, I was seriously thinking about putting it back on eBay for sale uh, because I had played with it but then I bought a Sony a7 mark 3 which I'm shooting this video with and a uh, Ronin SC to do video work. And I was kind of embarrassed. I'm, I'm not a professional portrait photographer. Uh, I was pretty embarrassed with the fact that I used the A7 to shoot some Christmas shots, and they came out really blurry. And my nephew said, well, why don't you just refocus them? And I said, because he's used to me shooting on the Lytro. And I said, ah, wrong camera, I used the Sony A7, and I'm pretty much screwed uh, with a focus um, on a couple shots. So if I had been shooting with the Lytra Loom and had done the same thing with bad focus on those shots, I would have been able to go back into the desktop and refocus this any way I wanted to. If you are in a portrait scenario and you have a foreground object, middle ground object and background object um, in in that in the frame you can do a lot of stuff in post-processing with the uh, desktop app on this and then of course import it into something like affinity photo and uh, do some crazy stuff with it at that point anyway wanted to revisit it it is staying on my shelf as a camera that i will keep using until i can't find batteries for it anymore it's a very cool camera. It's a shame that the company went out of business. And I wonder what happened to the patents for the technology. Uh, who knows? But uh, it's no longer. And the company Lytro, as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know, is not in business anymore. They sh somebody should pick this up, figure out how to buy this, and uh, create a Lytro Illum Pro with um, maybe some attachments for a viewfinder on the hot shoe and uh, upgrade the software for image stabilization and add video capability to this camera and that could keep up with any modern DSLR or mirrorless I think. Um, really neat camera. If you have the uh, ability to buy one inexpensively like I said, you know, this is a 250, 275 buy. It, it's, it's cool to try and get your hands on one and play around with it. I hope everybody has a really good new year. And uh, we're going into 2020. I never thought, I, I, you know, I never thought I'd be around for 2020, to be honest with you. And I'm happy I'm here. And I'm happy that you're here watching this video.